damn it. <clears throat> All right, so it is 5.49 in the morning and I wanted to make a video about how I get clients for my agency. Um, I'm going on two years and um, so I'm trying to do this challenge where I make a video every single day <clears throat> and you figure the easiest things to talk about are the things you do all the time every day and I don't talk about that stuff that much. I just make like fitness videos or like <clears throat> random caffeine, not having caffeine videos and all this stuff. This is decaf, all right? But anyways, I want to make a quick video that talks about how I get, um, how I have been getting clients for my agency. <clears throat> um, and I'm just going to go down the list. I'm in a list and you may or may not like them and it may or may not be reasonable, but this is how I did it. So, or this is how I do it. And there's many ways to improve it. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Symphony Advertising Agency, I, I started it almost two years ago. It's January 14th. <clears throat> I got fired from my, my last job um on like january 30th so february 1st i was on my own so so quick story is i got fired um it, the weekend happened and i just met with my my parents and my brother and my girlfriend and i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do dude i remember getting that call man i should make a video about getting fired i'll do that for another one let's write that down somewhere uh That'll be another another day. Um, so yeah, I got fired. And I was like, dude, what am I gonna do? And I here's the thing. Like for me, I've all since I was like 18, even yeah, even in like I want to in college, I was like, um, you know, I could I could do something on my own. And then I got jobs, and then I didn't like them, and then I quit them, and then I tried doing stuff on my own. And so it's 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 not a new thing. Like in in my 20s, I tried maybe like two times to try and do things on my own, specifically websites and digital marketing. And I just wasn't good enough yet. I didn't have enough experience. So once I got fired this time, it was like, well, I, now I've really done these things. Like I've really gone out and got clients by myself. I really have built websites. I really have just done account management where I just talk to the client and relay the information to, to, to a team. I've done, um, uh, I've made, created and managed Google ads campaign, Facebook campaign, social media campaigns. <clears throat> and I've worked with actual budgets and I've worked in, in, in high volumes. So I had the experience, I got the experience this time. So I guess the first one is having the experience lets you sell a lot easier to get, to get new clients. So like if you go to somebody and you're like, at, uh, 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 I don't know what I'm talking about. It's going to be really hard to make a sale. If you go to somebody and you're like, yeah, I've done this before. I've dealt with this. I've done this kind of things. I've managed over a hundred clients at one time. Um, I've spent over a hundred thousand dollars a month running Google ads, stuff like that. Very like top stuff. Like you might have good ideas and there, there might be, um, you might know how to do it, but you haven't done it yet. Um, it's hard to sell stuff. So like, I would say that's one of the bigger things. Like it's really, for me, it was really hard to sell. Um, and get new clients because that's what it is to get new clients is to sell um it was hard because i just didn't have enough experience so that was the number one thing so <clears throat> i got fired then that following like monday i posted a thing on facebook i was like hey i'm actually sorry i'm getting confused but like for the first month after i got fired i was just wondering do i do it do i not do it let me test the waters i didn't have a name i didn't have nothing i don't think it was until march it took like a month so i was like let me test the water so i didn't really make it public um, but I went to people I knew. So that's the first thing I did is I went to friends and family um, to ask them like, hey, I just got fired. I can help you with anything with your business. Uh, and I already had some reputation built because on my social media, on my personal social media, I would always post, hey, I'm doing this. Hey, I'm working on this account. Hey, this is a cool giveaway we're doing for a client. Here's a cool ads campaign that we created. Here's a cool website that we made. Um, here are some troubles that I'm going through at work. Like I would always constantly talk about this even before um, I had my own business. So while I was working other places, I would talk about what I was doing. So people knew what I was doing, which is very big help when people see like, when people see you, they're like, oh, I, I get that. He, people really didn't know, but they would be like, you do stuff with websites, right? That's always what people would tell me. So like people knew what I did. So ha having people know what you do, even if it's not your business or if it is your business, is helpful. Um, so that's that part. And because I was already in the in the industry, like digital marketing websites, I um, I already had some relationships where I could be like, I knew this 
I knew I knew two agency owners already. So I just went up to them. I was like, hey, and I already had one client also. Like I had a client while I was working, but I used to work there. So it's it's I was just so already in there that the very first thing I did a couple weeks in is go directly to people and say like, hey, do you have any anything I can do? Right. And so that was the first way I got clients. Right. It was like 500 bucks. It wasn't even that much money. Right. So. um but 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 through that i got i got a client right and then um i had already a client so i I think just to start off i think i was like a thousand dollars in already so it was great i was like okay a thousand dollars i really only need like two thousand to be fine like that was my only goal was like how do i pay my own bills because i just got fired so i was like i just gotta make a thousand more dollars so what i did next is i posted on social media so i said hey i'm gonna go off and do my own thing um here's my company name and this is like a month in here's my company name and here's what i can do and that thing like took off it got it got like a whole bunch of shares a whole bunch of likes people started contacting me but i didn't really get anything but like the the message was sent saying like hey my name is caesar gill and i'm starting my own company if you have business for me we can work out a deal and i remember i said that so it was like i can make a deal happen whether you have money or not whether you have the budget or not whether you can pay your website or not so i just got started to communicate with all these people <clears throat> and um for the people that wanted to work with me but didn't necessarily have like a budget they'd have like you know a couple hundred bucks and it wasn't enough to pay for a website not that i knew how much to charge really at the time um uh, or they didn't have a, a marketing budget because i was still figuring out like well what is my packaging like how am i selling websites how am i selling digital marketing campaigns am i including them together am i doing contracts am i so you have all these questions you have to figure out um and i try to do what i've learned in the past but it wasn't it was good um or it wasn't the right fit anyways so i just said that and then people started reaching out and through that i actually did get a couple of clients so like somebody somebody contacted me who has a like a like they just liked what i do and they said hey we want to we want to work with you. Here's here's a bunch of accounts that you can manage for us. I was like, okay, this is great. So, the 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 big thing is the big thing of how I got more how I get clients. The title of the video is go out there and ask. And the easiest ways the easiest ways to ask is people you know, family and friends, like physically in person, like people you know. So I met like the following day after I got fired, I went. I went to the uh, agency owner I knew, but I didn't know like if I was going as like, do I want a job or do I want to do my own thing? And it ended up being like, let me just freelance for you. So that was like, hey, you know, I can I can do a lot of work for a very good rate freelance and I can, you know, I can communicate. And a lot of agency owner people like they need help um, or they like help and they would like high experience help. So basically I would go up to them and be like, hey, you know, you're paying this guy whatever i don't know 15 dollars an hour but i can do that work in less time off the books as, as, like not an employee and do a much better job um for certain things like i didn't take nobody's job but it was a very good sell because it's like whoa i'm getting the super experienced dude for like pennies really <clears throat> um and it's worth it like because you don't have any clients like you got to do what you gotta do <clears throat> so what i'm saying is yeah go ask physically as in with like via text in person go to people's offices that you know family right i met with my family and told them so my family has actually referred a couple of businesses but anyways the second thing is you want to do is like you got to say it is what you're doing this is how i did it. <clears throat> this is how i did it i'm not telling people how to do it um so i went to um facebook instagram i don't think i did linkedin but facebook and instagram i made a post facebook specifically was the best response <clears throat> so so that started happening you know what do you call that that's like just social media marketing let's say and, and word of mouth right two very good ones the third thing i did was i i because i had relationships in the past people reached out to me and say like hey i don't really have any work for you but if i find somebody that needs work that needs like a website or if i, if I have a client this other business if i have a client that needs a, a website then we'll refer you and i have very quickly off the top i got I had one one had like three of those like people who were just like hey we really like you we don't need you but if we find stuff that and i still work with them today so that was a huge a huge um partnership that was set up so like 
another thing you can do is like, hey, if, if you don't have any work for me, like how can we work where you refer me business and I refer you business if I can, but I don't even have to do that because they just want people to, they just wanted to refer me um, businesses in which uh, I do a good job. So like to this day, I'm still trying to make those relationships happen, but those are pretty hard um, because you got to do those. So like th- those three have kept me like, or they've been here for the whole time. And recently I just got a new one. So like I'm at, I'm at four, let's say. <clears throat> So again, building, it's all about relationships, dude. At least when you're starting off, in my opinion, that's the easiest way to do it. If you've already kind of put in the legwork, I'd say. Like, those relationships were built for years already. So going up to them being, and saying like, hey, throw me a bone here. I, I mean, I need help and I can help you at the same time. Um, you know, that, that was already done. So it wasn't like some random guy coming up to them. Uh, so it's another thing, right, that you can do prior to doing your business uh so yeah the partnerships straight up asking people posting on my own social media um and then obviously this list is probably inexhaustive oh i started doing free stuff so like people who i i I was getting to it people who mentioned like hey we want to you know we want to work with you but we don't really have you know too much we're either just starting out like we want to see first before we commit fully like i would build free websites and i really didn't have a problem doing it with it because like what do you have to show right at this point like what do you have to show of what you don't or what you can do and in my opinion it's a lot easier for me personally to sell somebody on free not only that but like i feel better because no matter what happens because they didn't pay i don't owe them anything if that makes any sense like i don't like feeling like i owe companies clients people anything so like yeah it's extremely undervalued because it's free but it's like well it's not like you can say I did a bad job or it's not like you can say um, you can't say I gypped them or anything like that. So like I feel really comfortable making something from the, you know, not for the first time, but like fully on my own and being like, um, well, it was free. Like if there's anything wrong with it, if the website looks funky, if I don't respond immediately, this is now um, if uh, you know, like it's just because it's free. It's like obviously I'm still trying to do a very good job, but it's like but it's free. Like there's very little r- risk on you. And you can't like who's going to sue you for doing a, a free website or whatever, a free marketing campaign that they use their own budget for and you get paid nothing for. So doing that did help because then I have a profile of work that I can I can put. Right. So I did build my own website like immediately when I started my business. Um, but I wouldn't say that really did anything. I, people would look at it, but it wasn't um, a whole lot. So from doing the social media um, posting saying, hey, you know. I got a lot, I get referrals. Like that's the number one way we get business is like people who know me, you know, people who need websites or who need digital marketing, they refer me. Um, some guy I went to college with introduced me via email to another guy that he knows. And that's been like a very good relationship as far as like, I mean, it's honestly like a mentor at this point. So like, you know, opportunities are out there. You just got to be like ready to get them. Or, you know, I was like, wow, this is crazy. And so, honestly, like, within the first couple months, it was like, okay, I can pay my bills at the very least. And then it was about moving it forward. So, that same, those same tactics or strategies that I did in the beginning are the same strategies that I do now. On my personal social media, I'll post, hey, I literally post the office and put, you know, Symphony Advertising, at Symphony Advertising. On LinkedIn, I'll post, I just got business cards which is how I got the idea to make this video. I got business cards two, almost two years after, after um, start starting this business. Cause you know, a, you know, I'm not a big business card guy, but like, I think less than ten people. I think only three people have asked me for a business card. But the one time, there was one time specifically, I I closed the client. It was a law firm. I went in and they were very like, "May we have your business card?" I was like, ah, I don't have any. So, so, um, so I was like, you know what? First of all, I copied American Psycho. I really like the design. I've had the design ready for a while. I just never got it printed. I was like, first of all, I didn't know it was like, it's 30 bucks to get these in. It's $50 or for 50 cards, it was 30 bucks. I really don't use them. They're going to last, they're going to last forever. I use Canva to get them done. I use our, our design team to make them, but it's, I mean, who can't make this? And there's a whole bunch of free templates. Anyways. I figure like for some clients like you gotta have that thing right so like when i was going to 
one of my first calls like sales calls that was referred was like it's called here it was like um hey do you have an office do you have an llc and i didn't have at the time i didn't have those things i didn't have an llc no i didn't maybe i didn't and it was like some businesses look at you and they just want to get the approval that you are a legit business because you need to have these things so like i have this office and it makes it easier to sell so i would say like down the line like that really helps um i got the llc because i mean that's just legally what you should do i guess um and i i'm happy i have it um you know the next step for me i feel is like getting an employee at some point um i feel like that's a natural progression but but we'll see because i don't know times are weird i don't know i don't know i don't know exactly which way to take it and i use contractors but anyways god damn it um back to the the title on uh the, the subject at hand uh so getting an office really helped asking for reviews really helped like just get, i think i have like 42 reviews so pe- when people look up our business when they're told hey you should work with caesar and his business symphony advertising they'll look up symphony advertising they'll see Oh, wow, he has a bunch of reviews. Like, sometimes that's what sells them. Sometimes they'll see previous work that I have on our website that sells them. Sometimes they're just referred by somebody who they really trust, and that's what sells them. Um, so, yeah, those are – that was the worst list. There's so much that goes into that, though, like, you know, getting your pricing right, getting your 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 sales – I don't really, really call it a sales pitch, but, like, getting, like, what you tell the client or the potential client, like, here is what we do matters a lot, right? Or understanding, like, what it is that – that they value right so like if if they don't value a website there's no way you could charge them 10 grand for it if they value the website at you know a different price like you kind of have to match that you can say like hey these are the reasons it's worth this much or you got to be able to sell too right but if people aren't you know if they just don't value it they don't value it. if they can understand why it has value that's better but that's convincing and that's i don't know i'm not really you know about that i'm more about like market fit right like you need a website. I make websites. You have this much money. This is how much we charge. Market fit. Um, so, yeah, that's what I look for. And then uh, there's like, so that's kind of like the, like I said, the strategy or tactics for it, which are two different um, meanings, right, or definitions. But then there's the other other side of things where like, I'm not going to spend more than two minutes on this. It's like, number one, you got to be like responsible, <laughs> right? Like if you're not responsible, you're never going to have clients because you're not going to get stuff done and and you know they're not going to trust you right you got to be trustworthy like are you gonna you know if you say you're gonna do something by the 30th and you don't do it and you keep delaying deadlines like that's bad um you gotta be you gotta be you gotta know how to communicate like if you can't go to a client and be like hey how's it going and do like little small talk and they like small talk that's not good either you, you gotta know how to communicate because a client might try and come and run all over you like hey i want this 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 and that but they only pay for A and they want B, C, and D. And it's like, whoa, client. And you got to be able to manage that relationship to keep them as a client, but not to be overly, you know, as a client. Um, you have to obviously know how to do this stuff. Like, if you don't know how to do this stuff, then you got to know how to hire people to know how to do this stuff. But you still need to know a certain amount so that they don't, like, completely, you know, fall off the rails. Um, and you got to be constantly, you know, got to be constantly learning. You got to... you all those things go into play i feel because it's like it's not even if you even if somebody give you 10 clients and they all were like yes we'll do it it's like there's that's that's a kind of a problem like how do you how do you manage that how do you handle that how how are you gonna and then you gotta know like how much services you want to offer so like we changed a lot from being just a digital marketing company to like more of a web design company because that's what we sell much easier it's like front facing but personally i have way more experience with ads management so anyways that is my list i didn't do a great job of listing them out just kind of word vomited um if you have any web design or marketing needs contact symphonyadvertising.com and or email me and or text and or call and that's it peace out